up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, you. the next day, he was up for 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. The King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimago All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. He gets to the spot, the tiger. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Big hole for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that was one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. And he landed the right hand there. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Nurmago Medov. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. Then trying for a submission now. He's gonna take armbar here. He 
you got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Ninety seconds remain in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not big in one place on the ground. That's very important. Huge shot there! That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Nice punch by Nermago Metal. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Okay, now two, you ready? You ready? Go Second go. round underway. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Punch coming, it's blocked. Good punch, land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very under... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out! Nice run through there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big right hook, but a whip. Nice knee to the midsection there. Nice kick. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Very tricky to throw that body shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. Three minutes. 
Takedown defense holds up. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Big body to play. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice head kick. Beautiful one-two punch. And they separate. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. Double leg. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful Hip take. tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Down into his mount. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him. But the guy on the bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat. So then he can start to work on his defensive transition. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling his position just on top of you and right of you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half -time. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down. Oh, he might be out. That one appeared to stun him. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. If you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Chalky in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pretty strong jab there by Nurmagomedov. A little single collar tie there. Well, he is in. Whoa! Oh! Head kick attempt. How about those five minutes? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so you see the cut on the eyebrow is only getting worse as we come to the end of this round, and the fighter quickly back to the stool. That cut's gonna get some attention, but again, as soon as he absorbs another strike, that thing figures to open right back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight, guys. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice kick. Take down there by Nermago Metal. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Single collar tie here. Whoa! What a... Whoa! Back to the feet. Watch the shot. Oh, here go. Left hand punches the punch. Oh, huge elbow. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, oh! 
Magomedov goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch there by Magomedov. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him, no, no when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, eats a knee. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And he connects with... Oh! He's Be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Under two minutes to go. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Guard. Nurmago Medov's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Single power tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Oh, beautiful level change. the takedown there. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called the stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout, the king! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.